Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Eddie Marcus, spokesman and advocate of basic human rights for all people. I'd like to make a comment relative to this situation where the athletes are taking a stand against, really, I believe, Donald Trump. They represent Kaepernick <clears throat> and what he was standing up for in regards to the treatment of blacks and by cops killing them. Now, I'm sure many of these athletes just try to keep a low profile, but when Donald Trump came out and called them SOBs, those are men. And uh, one man is not gonna let another man call me SOB and he sit down. I mean, a punk might, but not a man. And so what I would like to say in regards to that situation, first I'd like to tell you the truth. Let me share with you the truth first. Truth might hurt, but let me share. The national anthem has nothing to do with black people. Bombs, killing, being killed. The only thing black people had in that regard for the nation is that the nation was using them to do dirty work. And as far as protecting them, treating them as citizens, had nothing to do with that flag. This is why you were able to go into a foreign country, see if people come back home and be hung for walking the streets. And this is why you can still be shot on the streets by cops for no reason than you're black. And so that, comes, that uh, national anthem has nothing to do with you. And in truth, the fact that Donald Trump comes out and publicly announces to the world that it doesn't have anything to do with black people. He says, our flag. And when he, we, everybody knows when Donald Trump says our, he's talking about even though he's got a lot of people who voted for him who are not Klansmen, who are not really haters, they voted for him because they hoped in him, only to find out he is nothing but a cancer. And so we got this cancer there representing all the cancerous elements in our nation. And if black people were really wise, every time that anthem is played, every last one of them would sit down because they know it's for them. It's not for them. <clears throat> the fact that they are playing sports, being paid, it's because they got talent and that they're selling to some white man or white people to make more money. And the president is suggesting that since they have that privilege, and he calls it a privilege, to making money, they have to shut up and be a, another slave. A slave in the essence of what we know slavery to really mean back in the day. So, I say it again. The national anthem. And that flag and blood and stuff has nothing to do with black people except the sacrifice that black people made to help white people try to make themselves supreme, not, over, not only over other nations, but over black people as well. And all the th things that Donald Trump has said and all those people out there talking about honor our flag, what the hell are you going to honor a flag for when you can't honor people? Yes, people died. People were killed. Were they honored with a bullet? People who were killing people, were they honored? And now you raise up a flag and say, this represents what they have done. Yeah, this is what they have done. They have created a nation in America today that's so divided as a crime shame. It's just as divided as it has ever been. And that division that you see today, as it has ever been, represents what that flag stands for. And all that death stands for. It stands for hatred, division, and death. Now that's the absolute truth. But, so everybody won't be feeling down, let me give you a way out. The way out is this. Take the tool of the enemy out. What is that? That is the thing that gives people advantage over another. First of all, you use lies, exploitation, and money to, and legally use money to abuse the system. There is one system that works, 
Republicans will never try it. Democrats will never try it. Libertarians will never try it. White people in general won't try it. That doesn't mean that some white people don't believe in it. And black people in general won't try it. That doesn't mean that black people, some black people don't believe in it. And the religious community will not, will not go along with it. Even though there are some religious people who would agree with it. And what is that? That is the way that the designer of human beings and the earth designed for peace and prosperity, prosperity to exist. And that is that you treat people like you want to be treated. You recognize that the earth belongs to somebody else, not you. That human beings were created by somebody else, not you. And they have natural, natural requirements for survival. And that all of that has been prepared. And the only thing people have to do is put their hands to the plow in a career of their own choosing and create in the form of a manifestation of all the goods and services that are essential for survival and everything else that humankind may want, need, or desire. Now that's God's plan. And I promise you, there's not a human being on earth right now, as far as I know. I will tell myself there are others, but I don't know about them. But I just believe that there are others. I know there's one. I'm telling you this right now. There's not a single in in individual on earth that I know of that's talking about God like this. And talking about God's plan like this. You think Osteen tells you that? No, Osteen tells you that the day just might be the day that God has a plan for you. Doesn't that look like a big and cockeyed lie? But you believe it by the tens of thousands and by the millions of dollars you pay him to say it every Sunday. You think those mega churches give a heck about you? No, you look at them and you see their what? Mansions. You think white people really care about you? Not the ones with money. You see what Donald Trump is trying to do. They're trying to take as much more money as they can get into hell with you blacks, poor white trash, and other folks. See, ladies and gentlemen, you have to recognize. I realize when you stand up and tell the truth, there are going to be a lot of people that are going to stand and curse you out because they don't know better. They do not know any better. Who has taught them? Listen to Donald Trump. What do you think Donald Trump got that from? Donald Trump got that attitude from his mama and his daddy. Just like his children getting the same attitude from their daddy. I don't know what they get from their mama. But that's where it came from. All the hate in the world came from parents. It didn't come from God. It didn't come from the devil. It came from parents, the devil that lives in their parents. That's where it came from. And it will destroy not only America, not only North Korea, not only Afghanistan, every nation on the face of the earth, it will destroy it. Hate. For, and it ain't that one person right now talking about, I got it all. I got all the money. I got all the gold, I got all the diamonds, I am somebody, and he's the only somebody. <laughs> you think about that. Bye-bye.